fellow YouTubers. Welcome back to YouTube Gaming Community number 126. So this is the time of year where, you know, we get, you get, as a gamer, you get all kinds of gaming news coming out. You know, all the games coming out next year that were pushed back are being announced. And all these games are coming out every left and right to play if you play, you know, current gen games. And for me this week, you know, the cool one of the coolest things was the announcement EA announced NFL Blitz is going to be $15 downloadable coming out in January. They're going back to the arcade style and they're talking about doing leaderboards for local, uh, regional, and national online. And of course, you're going to be able to play online against other people. And the other thing that was cool for me game wise was I got my game of former Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Which not only is Grimlock playable in the game, but they also mentioned the Dinobots are in the game. They didn't say if they're, they're all playable. Uh, I'm just going to mention the characters they have. I'm not going to mention like all the gameplay stuff. They mentioned the Insecticons are in the game. They mentioned Cliff Jumper is in the game, Jazz. Shockwave's in the game. They also mentioned Vortex from the Combaticons in the game. And one of the coolest things that really got me psyched for this game was, as a Transformer fan, something I've always wanted in a game done right is the Combiner Transformers. You may know some as the Aerial Bots or, you know, there's just so many different versions of them that originally came out in the original show, the Constructicons. But in this game, Vortex and the Combaticons form Bruticus. And you're going to be able to play Bruticus in the level, which I think is awesome. Now this game, again, what they told you of the story in this issue is going to take place from right after the last game to where they're, you know, in space, battling in space, right before they go to Earth. The last thing I'll say about this game, Hasbro made a, was talking and made a statement in the magazine about over the last 20 years, you know, with all these different versions of the Transformer cartoon, the, the history of the Transformers has been, you know, retold and you know been done different ways and that this game to them for the next 30 years is the definitive history of Transformers going from this point forward on merchandise and the toy line and the cartoons and when they if you've never watched Transformer Prime the new cartoon that the first season just you know just got done that they go back to this history in there and that these games are the definitive history going forward which is really cool to me that they're doing that and they had this much belief in the guys making the game. Again, I'm a Transformer fan of Gink. I have to talk about that. That stuff is just so cool to me. So our topic for this video came about through the responses to the shutout video topic in the last community video. Because I know shoutouts people, a lot of people in the community are afraid to do them because there's a lot of negativity involved with them. So it lead to me thinking of our topic today, which is ways to support a YouTube channel. Now, obviously, shout out to the other first one. And again, there are negativities about people disliking your video because you didn't shout them out. Your friends get upset because they think they got should have got shouted out. And, or, you know, people just leave nasty comments because they didn't get shouted out. The next one would be putting them on the checkout channel list in front of your channel page. The 16 channels you can. Again, same cons there as in the shout out video where people get upset because they're on that list. To me, I see the checkout channel list of somebody, if they put me on it, it is such an honor and it is such a humbling to be put on the front of that page because to think of all the videos and the channels out there they watch, they think mine would be enough or your channel if they put you on their list would be they like it so much to put it on there and those 16 channels that they like so much they want people to know about it that to me is just the greatest form of flattery and honor that you somebody could give you on YouTube and that even though if someone says oh you're the first video I go to and again I get on log on to YouTube or you know I always your channel is the best one and if they don't put you on a list so what? That's their right. I, I don't like when people get upset about that and they start whining that person. Well, you said I was the favorite se video series you watch. That's that person's channel. It's their right. They don't whine to them about it. I don't like when people do that. Now, the third way would be to like their video. Now, if enough people were to like a video, there is a chance it could end up in the front of YouTube. That's one benefit from it. The other benefit is by liking a video through to social media, whether you have Facebook or Twitter or whatever, 
connected to your YouTube account, maybe Google Plus, that once you like that video, it gets sent out to those social media and those followers may check that video out. So again, that's another way to support a channel that you like or a video. The next way is a way more, I think more people are using because there's left grief and people don't come after as much, is they simply mention quickly in the video, go check out this channel. This is why I like the channel. That's a way of just simply shutting out one channel real quickly and not doing a whole shout out video. And, it, and it, people don't seem to get so upset as if when you do a whole shout out video. Or you just mention their name so that your viewers, you know, eventually if you mention that name, your viewers may go check that channel out or at least it's in their head and they, they know who that person is. Another way is simply word of mouth, telling your friends about, hey, go check out this channel and why you like it. Or you could send your friends on YouTube a message about it, or you could send them a link through Skype, Skype's another way. Or you could see a message on the front of their channel page, you know, in the comments of the front of their channel page, hey, you should really check this channel out. Not your own channel, somebody else's. Now, if they're a partner, and you really like their channel, then you could simply watch their ad all the way through the, that rolls before the video if it comes up. That's a monetary way to support their channel. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. Or click on the ad. Now, this is what I'll say about ads real quickly. If you are one of those people who publicly put in your videos that you have ad blocker turned on and you don't see anybody's ads in the gaming community at all, but you have ads and you expect people to click, check on it, click it. I will not click on your ads. Because if you won't support people in the community, then I won't support you by that. Uh, that's just, that's, you know, hey, don't, I won't click your ads, but you better click mine. I don't think so. I will not do that. Now, there are the, these two ways. Now, these aren't the ways that I'm going to say you should do this. These are kind of options. These are not things I would anyway aggravate people. I get the... Uh, I would not support doing, but if you really like a channel, it's a way to do it. So there's a channel guy does reviews and you like his reviews. You may want, you may send him games if you want to, or you know he likes a certain game and you may send him something you find cool because you like his channel. And if you watch the channel over the years, you kind of consider him some kind of friend or something because that just happens. After you watch somebody on YouTube over a long time, you get to know them, them as a person through their videos and what they like, at least that aspect, you know, you kind of consider them a friend. Or money. Now, this is the one I do not advocate doing. I know people do it. I know, I've had people offer me to send me money before for my videos and I've turned them down because I would just believe in giving somebody for something like that. A shirt, a something. I don't believe in just for nothing. It's just the way I was raised. I don't believe in give people, expecting people to give me something for nothing. So, that to me would be something I would never take just straight money. People would want to do that. That's their, you know, people ask to give money and they want to do it. That's their right, but I don't, I won't do that. Also, if you have a website, there's another place you could shout them out. Other, now, for people who have channels, other ways to get noticed was if you do retro games, to, to Steve Benway has this, you know, website and he has a list of people in the community who retro game stuff that you could send and say, hey, can you add me to this list and explain why? And he might do that. I know Jurassic Junkie also has the YT Gaming website that's currently, he's redoing the website again, making it bigger than before. Those are ways to get exposure for your channel. And I'm sure there are other websites from the community, other stuff that I'm just not mentioning right now. And so, actually my question for, you, for the top for you is twofold. Were there ways to support a channel that I did in that list? When I did that list, and number two, how do you support a channel that you like? Now, another way, the most obvious, is to leave comments to the channel, too. You know, to get involved in their discussions and their topics. That makes, or give them advice that you think, your advice or opinion and things you think they, they could do to change your channel. So, that's enough for our topic for now. So, let's get to comments from YouTube Gaming Community number 125. And the first one is from the Gamer Freak. 5150. He said, what do I expect from doing a shout out video? I would love that people go and check that channel out or at least watch some videos. 
who know maybe it'll get a few subs a lot of channels here in the community that have thousands of subs began just like you and me with a few subs and from shouting out their channels they got the help they needed to be where they are today for example i saw a shout out of this channel and here i am enjoying very bit of it thank thank you said any thank me for the videos which that's cool next up is himoto love he said I know we cannot make everybody happy. That is why I would never ever do any form of shout out video. Same goes for contest video. People will get upset because they didn't win anything. And I understand that about contest videos. I mean, contest videos are very bad because first of all, if there's no way to prove how you picked people, people will think you rigged it. They think you, if your friend wins, they think you just, you know, you just picked your friend. And it's, I understand why people don't do it. Next up is Tom360 Degree said, I was hoping to get some YouTubers I like new views slash subscribers. What is the double sword is people may sub to them because you or so and so said to check out the channel, but then that subscriber never watches any of the videos on that channel. It's the same as if I thumbs up a video one, video one I like the video channel, and two, maybe someone will want to watch that certain video. It's sort of a shout out. I don't do them much anymore. Now I post a video for my channel on my page. Here's what I'm gonna say. This is something that has drive me crazy for as long as I've been watching videos on YouTube. The fact that somebody who subs to your channel, they need to watch your videos all the time. Okay, people who sub your channel may wanna support your channel, but they might find most of your videos, quite frankly, not entertaining. There may be just one series of videos you do they like. There may be just one video you do once in a great moon they like. This this notion that people have, and I know there's more people than you like to believe have this notion that if you sub your, their channel, you need to watch every one of your videos. And that is just simply not true. Next up, Henry Blazer 20 said, I expect to be featured in the shout out video that people learn something and get enough information to want to visit my channel, check out videos out, and hopefully subscribe. I think doing thousands, thousands of subscriber shout outs really weakens the point of it and it really needs to be focused on just a few individuals. And what he meant, I know what he meant in this comment was that if somebody shouts you out, they should feature you. They should talk about why they like your channel and to try to give people as much information to go check you out. Especially if you're only shouting on a couple channels, and I understand that. Next up is from FMDOF, and he said he had a very different take on this. He said, without watching your video yet, letting it load, I think shout outs are dumb, especially since most are from new YouTubers or at least new to making videos, and they have little to no subscribers in some dumb username like Old Gaming Dude R, you know. And it's their first video and it's like a plague. Who are they shouting out to? It's just dumb ploy to get views by, let's say, Games31 liking that video and then possibly subscribers from that. I hate shout outs, never watch them. And he had one other comment. He said, I also think it's interesting that I'm the only one who commented that hasn't made any sort of video, let, let, let a long gaming type video I just a YouTube viewer, not a contributor. It seems that there is more catering toward video creators than watchers. Which is that's a completely topic for another day I'm gonna get into. But let's get into this thing about it is true that the honest truth is a lot of the shout outs that do happen out there, to be honest with you, that say shout out are people shouting out the big channels who haven't been around YouTube very long. And a lot of those people think if they shout out whoever it may be, I'm not gonna pick on games or anybody else, whoever a big channel, whoever you can think of, that they think that person will pay attention to their video, they think that that'll, that they'll bring attention to their video and that everybody will go to their video because that person likes it, or that that person's gonna watch every one of their videos and then comment to them and be their friend. It doesn't work that way. Even if the person shouts you, you shout out, checks out your video, more than likely, they're probably going to thank you because they're being nice. They appreciate every person who shuts them out. But that doesn't mean they're going to subscribe to your channel. That doesn't mean they're going to be your friend. And that, yes, newer channels do the most shout outs. There's nothing wrong that they do the shout out. But you see those videos all the time. And yes, if you do look at most people who comment videos across the board in our community, almost every one of them you come across all 
have made videos on their channel. At one point or another. That is true in this community. So, he had a very interesting take that I thought was really cool to read. So, next up, let's get the videos to check out. And ironically, the first two videos I'm going to check out, for you to check out. Ironically, these two movies have had a weird way of being linked together since the announcement of both of them. Official announcement, you might say, about a year ago. The first one is Jame Nintendo Nerd, ABG and the movie, Indigo Go Go promo fundraising campaign. First of all, if you check out the video, you see the new camera that the first fundraiser he did, uh, he got because of the money that he did on the website. But basically, he's raising money to, f to finish the movie, the Angry Video Game Nerd movie that he wants to make. Which, I think it's cool that anybody wants to try to do anything. You know, I support anybody who wants to do opportunities and try new things, so that's cool that he wants to do that. The next one is Happy Council Gamers a HCG movie trailer announcement. Now, he did mention this already, for those who watch All Gen Gamers podcast, obviously, that on October 31st, basically Halloween, he will be releasing the trailer to the movie for the first time. The movie's 80% done. This is what they've been working on for two years now. This movie's been in the work for two years since he announced it in the 5,000 subscribers special he did. And so it's really cool that they're both doing this. It's just funny how these two, again, the original the original announcements were like really close together and then these two announcements were a day apart. It's just kind of funny how these two movies, in some weird way, are kind of tied together the way their announcements have been going. But it's really cool. Next up is Crow 111, channel update 15th October 2011. Okay, in this update video from Crow, he talks about how when he originally started his channel a long time ago, uh, back you know in the in the late 90s, he recorded a bunch of his footage on the PlayStation One and stuff of games, and he put them up on his channel as originally as uh, quick clips kind of thing. There's no talking, nothing. They're just quick clips. And then now on his channel, he feels like they're just, they just don't fit what the channel does. So he's made another channel where they're all uploaded to. So, and I understand that. Trust me, I understand. As our channels change and go, I mean, currently, I have a new series right now that I'll probably start for the first time next week. And it'll be thinking every two week kind of thing. And that's all I'm going to say about it for right now. I get it all recorded, the first one recorded, and then I'll, I'll really talk about that. But as our channels change and grow, and we change and grow, some things we originally started to do don't start to make sense. Like, for example, a long time ago, uh, Kane and Lynch 2, I put up a uh, gameplay of the, the demo of that game because I had luckily gotten a code uh, and uh, for the game, and I showed people the game because a lot of people didn't get to you know play the demo. And it, I only put that out there because no one could play it. Once the demo was out and that stuff, and Square Enix decided to put it, you know, hey, they wanted the third party thing on the video, I decided, you know what? I only put it out there because pe so people see it now that everybody can play it and see it. I took it down because it just, to me, it just, and now it completely doesn't fit what I do on the channel. So next up, we're going to talk about three tag videos. The first one is Return to Mother Base, Nerd Question Number Six. What is your annual game? Which simply is, what game do you go back to annually? For me, ironically, the game I've always gone back to every year since I've had the system is Final Fantasy Tactics. That is my annual game. I've actually lately had a craving to play that game again, to be honest with you. Uh, next is the Sainted Magnus Show, the SMS games. That game kick your arse question. Basically, what game kicks your rear end when you play it? tag question which this is one I had to think about what game kicks my butt when I play it and it has to be any of the Resident Evil series to be honest with you because those controls I just can't play them the next tag is Electric Adventures open tag game variants what do you collect in other words do you collect different variants of a game or are you going to collect all the variants of the game that could be also part of it you know, maybe the game box is slightly different. Like, he shows two Atari 2600 game boxes. Like, maybe some people, when it comes to PlayStation 1 games or PlayStation 2 games, you collect the, maybe you collect the original case and maybe you collect the Greatest Hits case, too. Maybe you collect all 
the, like today, collect the Epic Edition and you collect the Collector's Edition and you collect the Regular Edition. You know, what game variants do you collect or do you collect them at all? You should go check out that one and leave a response. Next video is from Power Glove Gaming 99, Strange Video Game Obscura number four, Carl Tron six and one. This came out in 1992 for the NES. It is a rare game. He shows you one of the games on it. There's no commentary, just gameplay. So if you've never seen the game, check it out. Next up is Ramstein Fan 234, parcel from Sick Cooper second game. So basically, he got some games from he bought from Sick Cooper. They are boxed Genesis and Master System games. If you want to go check them out, some really cool games in there. Now the next one is a response to somebody else, which is again just having a lot of fun. Freak Indies Buck Rogers response from the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, and it was a response to Nice and Games video of Buck Rogers where he does. They both do like computerized voices, but of the TI 99A saying that it was the best version of the game, and this was just him having a fun response saying the Sinclair version was the best. So if you're interested, go check out his video and then click the link in the description of the video to go check out Nice and Games video. Just videos having a lot of fun. Next up is Pocket Amigo on live one month later. Him talking about his change of heart after playing on live for a month and how much he likes it now. So check that out. And the last two videos I'm shouting out this time around are just fun videos, fun comic book videos. The first one is by Stuart Brett, a new arrival. You have to check it out. I'm not going to describe the video. You have to just check it out. It is funny and you just have to check that out and the last one is a murphy 245 sega mega drive cat uh or now youtube we all know animal videos are very popular in this video simply his he opens up his sega mega drive box and his cat is hiding inside the box so guys that is all for now uh old school nyc gamer your comment from the last video i will talk about that topic next video on friday so guys i will talk to you guys then, and we 